After that 16 strikeout performance, though, you see he was taken out after seven innings in that one. He goes 99 pitches to complete the uh, no-hitter. And, and Paxton, a guy, 29 years old lefty, who's had kind of some injuries throughout his career, but obviously healthy and on his game tonight. He has nasty stuff, and he mm -hmm. has frontline stuff from the left side. His fastball velocity was 95 to 100 miles an hour, and he understood the situation, and he's found his cutter, which is huge for him because he gets a ton of swing and misses over the strike zone. He came into this ball game in his last two starts, 26 strikeouts to just four walks. So he was definitely feeling good about his stuff. He just needs to stay healthy, and the Mariners could ultimately make a big run in the West, they have, they will have Felix and him in that rotation. Yeah, I, I agree with you, man. He definitely has frontline stuff. I think the one thing that was most impressive is how he attacked the hitters late in the game yeah. compared to how he attacked the hitters early in the game. You saw he punched Josh Donaldson off in the next nasty slider, and then late in the game, he's blowing 100 miles an hour. You know, <laughs> like you said, he was committed. He knew going into that last inning that he was gonna he was gonna win or he was gonna lose with that fastball, and he ended up winning. And you have faced Paxton as a hitter. Yeah, I mean that's there. the thing. I mean he's a big man. You know, big, name, maple. big man. <laughs> for a reason, you know. He's standing out there on the mound. I mean, he has a big presence about him, and the way he reaches out in his release point close to the plate, that 100-mile-an-hour fastball coming out. Kind of like Randy Johnson. Jumps up on yeah. you a lot faster than what you really realize, man. He's got frontline stuff. It's just a matter of time until he takes over for free. Yeah, we're going to have more on this later. In fact, Seager will talk about the pressure of trying to preserve a no-hitter, and yeah. certainly the Mariners right. backed up their pitcher tonight. Harvey out, uh, Mazzarocco in New York, and uh, this is this an addition by subtraction teams of the Mets who feel like they're a contending team, and Harvey, it just wasn't working out, and they had to make a move sooner than later, and they did it. Yeah, uh, I, that's exactly what it was. Bad energy, he was going after the press. Nobody wants to be around that, especially when the team is starting to struggle. They want to go and have some positivity. First year manager that trying yeah, to Yeah, you things. just don't want that type of energy. They gave him a chance. And I think if he was a little more humble about the situation, they would have gave him more chances down there. But you know what? I think the Big Apple is just too much for him, and I think this is a great move for both parties moving forward. Yeah, I think the, uh, the couple guys that really kind of stand out to me that kind of probably feel the worst about this is not Matt Harvey. It's, you know... Uh, Mickey Calloway and right. Dave Island, the pitching coach. I right. mean, these guys had the, uh, the utmost confidence that they were going to be able to change him around, get him back to being the dark knight. Uh, but, you know, you hope it, and you pray that maybe a change of scenery uh, will help him. Uh, I, I said earlier that he needs to get himself right before he gets himself back to the yep. big leagues. But Cincinnati Reds need some help right now, and, and this is what they think is the best move. Yeah, they shipped him off to – I love the, the post headlines were like nighty night, good night. They, they, yeah. played, they, they ran that dark <laughs> you night. You knew that was coming, though. You knew that was coming, It was, yeah. it was uh, good night for sure. It was honest, a candid uh, about – and you said we were watching this no-hitter. I said what a pitcher needs aside from being on his game. You do need a little luck. You need that support to get that no-hitter. And, and as the innings go, and Swisher can contest to this, you want it for him. So you're going to dive into the wall. You know, as, as nervous as he says he was, he wanted to make that play. There was nothing that was going to stop that ball from getting through because that's what they felt about the teammate. Mm -hmm. And you hear nothing but good things about Paxson as a teammate. So everybody was going to go above and beyond for this to happen for him. So I'm really happy for him. And this could really get, get that locker room going, man. And that's a tough place to win, let alone shut down that offense, especially in Toronto. Yeah, and Nick, you see the win. Yeah, it's a win, so people celebrate. But they all share in that no-hitter. You can well, feel it. Saying. I mean, I feel like this is kind of one of those things, like you're saying, <clears throat> excuse me, that can really kind of turn a team around as if they really need to be turned around. I mean, they've been building for this. Uh, that organization has really tried to do everything in their power to be able to compete right. with the Houston Astros, especially in the AL West. Uh, but I don't know, man. This guy right here, he's really kind of uh, taking the headlines, obviously tonight, uh, but also as maybe as your new frontline star. Yeah, and we're all out to dinner together, guarantee <laughs> right now. Well, and you and you wonder if they're having roast pheasant because remember, <laughs> he's the guy. You got to be calm <laughs> when, you, when you're pitching a no hitter. But look at how calm this was earlier. Remember oh, that's when he's the eagle? That's the eagle. Oh, that's right. But look at how Paxton is like. I put myself on a deal after that. I wouldn't have made yeah, myself. He just that. was like, yeah. I'm going to bow this. I'm not messing with this bird. This is, there's a certain, look at the claw. Yeah, his uh, quote uh, was, I, I'm not going to outrun an eagle. So I just <laughs> thought I'd see what happened. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd cooperate. <laughs> I'd worry it'd be messing up my hair, but, you know. He, D. He's... Willis scratch from eagle. Like, yeah. <laughs> you like, would have been freaking oh, out. I would have had a heart attack. I know yeah, you. I would have put myself on a 60-day DL after <laughs> something like that. So, God bless him. He's more of a man than I am. Uh, I would say, uh, so Paxton shows his cool with the bird, with the eagle, and uh, with the opposition <laughs> hurling a no hitter.